Before and in the early stages of the thermonuclear weapon, attention was focused on the very large yields energy releases available. In fact, the impact of the thermonuclear weapon uh, was not that of enormous yield. It was to make it possible to have vastly more weapons with a limited stock of uranium-235 or plutonium-239. In 1950, there were approximately 300 weapons in the stockpile. A decade later, there was uh, 22,000. There was a decision to build more coming from Truman. There was a decision to build power. There was the invention of more powerful versions coming out of Mike and the, and the, and the, other, and the things related to Mike. The large growth that we saw in the 1950s and 60s was uh, uh, primarily driven by the capacity of the complex and not truly by requirements. It was our policy at that time not to wait for requirements from the military, but to find out from the technologies then available what the art of the possible would be. Technology offers opportunities offers possibilities. And we didn't understand what the objectives ought to be. Uh, we didn't know what kind of policies or even what plans and programs ought to be laid to achieve those objectives.